This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Debbie Small back with me. Welcome back to the studio, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> it is Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month, and you've been doing this with us for, this has got to be at least your third, fourth time here. Third, I believe, yes. Okay, because pre-COVID, you were able to come here in the studio, too, as well. Yeah, yeah, we've had you here. So we are here. September is Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month. You've got your flag up behind you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your history. You, you've had a brain aneurysm. You've had yeah, a, yeah. a few. Yes. In, 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 in 2018, I had a rupture of a brain aneurysm. And when that happened, um, I had absolutely no idea um, what a brain aneurysm was. Um, I was just standing in the kitchen talking, and uh, it literally felt like someone smacked me in the head with a baseball bat. And that's how quick, quickly the headache came on. Um, I did not go to the hospital immediately, which I should have done. And it's amazing that I'm still alive um, because uh, when, when, when someone has a rupture, um, Seeking medical attention is um, one of the first things that you should do. It, it's it's the quicker that you can get medical attention, the um, the higher the chances of you surviving. Um, it was just sheer luck that I survived. I, I, I stayed at home for two days, thinking I just had a really, really, really bad migraine headache. Um, I was throwing up, my neck was sore. Um, it wasn't until I called my husband at work on the second day and I was asking for him to bring home um, ginger ale for me. Um, and he couldn't understand what I was saying on the phone. Um, to me, I was speaking clearly, but to him it was completely garbled. Um, and he kept asking me, what are you saying? What are you saying? And I was like, bring home ginger ale. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he called 911 and came home immediately. When, when, when the ambulance got here, um, I could not see. I could hear everything going on around me, but I had lost my, my vision. Um, I could not move. Um, and they, they took me to the Smith Falls Hospital where they did a CT scan and they found the rupture. I was immediately taken to the Ottawa Civic Hospital. They did a eight hour um, emergency surgery to um, fix the rupture. And they also found four other brain aneurysms at that time. I had um, t two other surgeries um, j during that stay in hospital. I was in the Ottawa Civic for a month. Um, I also had t two, two strokes during my second um, coiling surgery. And I've had t two other surgeries since then, um, recoiling because sometimes the coils compact and they have to add more to fill up the space of the aneurysm so that the blood can't get back in. So, um, yeah. Wow, and I mean, you, you say you're lucky. I, I think you're a miracle because I, I, some of the stats I read last night, 15% of people with brain aneurysm ruptures die before they get to the hospital and you stayed at home for two days. Yes. Wow. Wow. And 40% of people will die with a brain rupture. 66% have permanent uh, neurological deficits. But that, that first one, 15% of people with brain aneurysms die before they get to the hospital. And you stayed at home for two days. Like, holy cow. Uh, you know, I know you've had children and you've gone through labor, but wow, that, that's, that's an amazing amount of pain to go through. 
Yeah, I like I said, I, I didn't know what it was, and, and even when they told me here, um, w- when when the doctor came out and said um, they found the problem and that it was a a, a, a brain aneurysm. Um, my first thought was, okay, give me some medicine and send me on my merry way. And he said they were sending me to the Ottawa Civic. And I was like, you know, God, how long am I going to have to sit there for? You know? <laughs> um, and little did I know it would be a whole month. Um, but yeah, and, and, when when people hear of brain aneurysm, and I know my husband, when he heard what the doctor said, he said his initial thought was, oh my God, she's going to die. And that's the first thing that went through his head. Um, because he had an aunt who died of a brain aneurysm rupture. And the, the medical uh, procedures now are so, so advanced than what we were used to when we were children, when we heard, you know, that your grandmother or your next door neighbor, the elderly person, somebody had this, you know, there wasn't a lot of treatment, but now there's so much. And, and like, if you can talk a little bit about some of your surgeries, like it's, it's not all, they go through a vein, don't they? Or an artery? Yeah, I, I had w- w- what they call endovascular um surgery for all of my coilings um so they they go through um the artery um just at the top of the 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 leg um so they basically they uh put in a catheter that runs all the way up through your body into your brain and then um they put in the coil so they go all the way up through and once they go into the artery then they start you know putting in the coils um they 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 still i mean that's the least invasive surgery um sometimes they can't do the endovascular surgery and they still have to do the craniotomy which is opening the skull and uh, dealing with the aneurysm that way Luckily, I haven't had to have a craniotomy. All right, that in itself, though, like just being able to travel through an artery to get up to your brain from your leg, my goodness, that's that's amazing in itself. Now you have, uh, since this has happened to you, the last few years you have grabbed hold of uh, September being Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month and you're out there getting the word out there, making more people aware of not to stay at home for two days, <laughs> to, to get some help as soon as possible. That would yes. be one of the things that you're trying to do with, with uh, awareness. Absolutely. Yes. And, and, and like, there are signs, um, you know, if you have a history of migraines or um, if there's a history of aneurysm in, in, in your family um, to make sure you have scans. My um, young younger sister um, was just recently had um, aneurysm treated that was found um, uh, accidentally um, through uh, a scan that she was having for something else. It wasn't um, she wasn't being scanned for aneurysm, um, and she just had 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 that repaired and she's doing amazingly well there was no complications from the surgery um she's back to work and everything is going very well for her and um the the doctor has suggested that our younger sister also be scanned as well so there can be a, a link in families um i know of other families who um have had family members, um, you know, down the line um, that have had a history of aneurysms in, in the family. So it, it is a good idea to be checked. Um, uh, and my kids, um, um, both my daughters have been uh, checked 
I'm, I'm trying to convince my sons that it's a good idea to do the same. <laughs> they're, they're a little more hesitant. <laughs> now, do you have any history of family uh, uh, older than you? That it has Not that you're the first of. one. Yes. You're yeah. the first one. Well, it's got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> I guess. <Yeah. laughs> now, you, uh, we were talking last night, too, and you're, you're um, chairing, is that the word, uh, a support group? Uh, your co-host of a support group and when we got talking it's a global support group i was just thinking lanark county but no you you're well known I'm, around the world doing this support group stuff so that's wonderful can you talk a little bit about that yeah i'm, I'm a member of a facebook um support group for um brain aneurysm survivors there are thir thirteen thousand members probably a little bit more than that now worldwide and uh, it's a wonderful group very active um, we do um, zoom meetings uh, twice a week I help co-host uh, a Tuesday evening um, zoom meeting with uh, two other ladies in the group if one of them can't be there I will help co-host um, that meeting. It's for ladies only. Um, it started purely by accident, um, it, uh, but it's, it's a really, really good group of ladies that attend. And um, we also do, there's a Friday night meeting as well, um, where all members can attend. It's a, it's a very nice, um, it's more of a community of people um, where people can feel free to ask questions. Um, new members who, you know, are just starting out in the journey, really, of um, dealing with this because, you know, it's it's not like you have an aneurysm and you have surgery and then you're okay uh, it's it's really is a ongoing thing that you deal with um i i i have um some deficits um from the surgeries and from the actual rupture um as you can tell, I have some speech difficulties. Um, I've done speech therapy. Um, and you've gotten so much better in that area. I've mentioned that to you before. You've gotten so much better than when this all first started happening to, happening to you. Thank you. Um, sometimes it's better. M mornings are, are much better for me than evenings. Um, if I am in a setting where there's a lot of noise or confusion, um, my speech is worse. Um, if I'm stressed or overwhelmed, it gets worse. Um, it's, it's, um, yeah, it fluctuates up and down depending on the situation. Um, I, uh, headaches, which, which I have started taking a, a new treatment for that, which I will talk about if you want. Um, but yeah, the, the group is, is a wonderful group of people. And like I said, we have people from all over the world, Australia, um, the UK, and you become friends with these people. And uh, it's, it's just, it's awesome. I, you know, support that. groups are so great too, because it's, it, in this one, in, for example, it's probably not always about brain aneurysm. You get to know each other and, and you know, there's, there's a life other than having a brain aneurysm. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and, and we support each other through other things, just not just dealing with aneurysm, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we've had, you know, death of family members and um, people losing their jobs. I, I think the, the, the largest, um, um, population of the group is probably um, based in the states, I would think, and uh, um, 
their health system is so, so, so much different than ours. And um, I've learned a lot about the struggles that they go through, especially um, after having a surgery of, of the, uh, the kind of surgeries that we have. Um, you know, when we go to the, the hospital or to a doctor's appointment, we leave and that's it, we're done. They, they leave and they're handed, a, you know, a stack of papers that outline everything that was u used to treat them and the cost of that and a total at, at the bottom of how much they owe and and so I get very frustrated and, and I know the Canadian health system is not perfect but it frustrates me when people complain about it in That's comparison me. to what I see my friends go through in the States. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet people don't go get the care they need because they know there's a cost element to it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, you were just mentioning, too, medication you take. You're taking oh, medication. Oh, headaches. Yeah, I started um, taking, it's, it's not a medication, but Botox treatments. Oh, okay. For m migraines. Um, it's... Um, and it's through my neurologist. Um, he does Botox injections in my head um, because I have daily headaches. And living with um, daily headaches is is not nice. Um, mm -hmm. They they're there from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. There there's no relief from them. So this is um, something that he wanted to try with me. Um, I've, I've done four um, treatments so far. They only last for a period of time. So I go every three months. Um, they do work. Um, I don't know if you've heard of anybody using them. Uh, I've I've heard of somebody using them that has cerebral palsy. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it hurts. Oh yeah. A lot. Oh wow. Yeah. I cannot imagine doing Botox to my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the pain is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's that that you need to have it done and want to have it done are two different things. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. I I get about. A, 40, 45 to 50 injections oh. all around my head, around the ears, down the back of my neck and across my shoulders and across the forehead. And it lasts for about 10, 10, 10, 10 weeks. So okay. I go every three months for that. So the initial, um, the injections, that's painful, but it's beneficial in the long run? Uh, absolutely. Um, it, it, it takes, the first time I went, it took about t two weeks before it kicked in. Mm -hmm. And um, I was headache free uh, for the remainder of the three months. Wow. Um, the second time, I didn't have any um, effects from it, like it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little disappointed from that. And then uh, my third time worked much better. So um, the last one is a little iffy, but um, I'm still going to continue with it because it's better than having the daily right. migraine. So right. yeah. it is helping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, how, if people want to learn more about uh, your support group in, in, in particular, too, how do they get a hold of you, Debbie? Um, the support group is a closed group. It's closed. a private group. Okay. Um, it, it's for people who have um, either are dealing with an aneurysm um, or f a family member of somebody who has uh, an aneurysm or has dealt with one. So it, it's, it is a closed group. Um, 
We do have a YouTube channel, though. Okay. That people could go to. It's, um, I wrote it down somewhere. It, it's called uh, Brain Aneurysm Survivor Cooperative. Um, because th this month we've done something new. We have um, done videos and um, put them on, not everybody, but people who wanted to have done videos and put them on their Facebook pages um, for people to watch, um, telling a little bit about their story. And then the videos have been uploaded to our new um, YouTube channel. So um, my video that I did, I wasn't going to do one, but I did do one. <laughs> took a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it is on the YouTube channel, and uh, I think there's, I can't, I went into it yesterday, but I can't remember how many videos are actually on it right now, but there's quite a few up there right now, um, but yeah, it, that, that's brand new that we've um, just done for this, we just started it this month, Excellent. so. Excellent. Yeah. Well, just in time for uh, September being Brain Aneurysm mm -hmm. Awareness Month, too. So, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? Um, no. No, we got it all. Well, you know what? I Once again, I, I always thank you for coming in here and, and sharing your journey, your experience. My goodness, when you say experience, wow, uh, with brain aneurysm. So, uh, it is Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month, September. So I always thank you, Debbie Small, for coming and joining us. And uh, if you get a headache, go get checked. <laughs>